So here's Johnny Five's head. Um, I'll show you some of the changes I made to it. Also, I'll show you these files that I got from Input Inc. Facebook. Um, this is their, their CAD files. Uh, so if you want them, you'd have to uh, go on their Facebook and request them. But I also 3D printed them to see how it would look. So we'll print both of these and see how they both come out. So here's the original one that came with the model. So I went ahead and created the neck portion of Johnny Five here, on, and that's on Thingiverse. Then I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, head a little bit, but I had some issues, um, especially in, let me see if I can show you, his eyelids, put that down, are really flimsy. I mean, there, you can see it just, just touching them and they're falling apart. So if I tried painting this, it would just fall apart. Also, on thing versus this head that I've cleaned up. Um, the model was really poor, but um, I increased the eyelids thickness, and also I increased the um, what attaches in there because on the original model they're actually not connected at all, and that's why I had problems with. Um, a similar one that I did in my other video. So this actually is all on Thingiverse right now. You can download it. Um, this one here is more movie accurate. Um, let's see if you can turn that. Actually, I'll move this one back. This one's obviously more movie accurate. Uh, it's got more detail down here, and you can see it's rounded back here compared to the one. I have. So depending on what kind of look you're going for, um, if you wanted to be really movie accurate, you'd probably want to go with that one compared to this one. Um, again, this one's out there on Thingiverse uh, with a flat bomb, so you have to glue one of my neck pieces onto it. I have this one, which is um, solid, which is the full non-swivel. The other one, I did put a hole at the bottom here and gave you a hole in the center of the bomb of this so you could get the center and turn the head with a screw. If you like this, like the channel. Uh, we have a Facebook and I'll see you next time.